Hi guys, I got another haul here for you from the Dollar Tree this time. So, um, we have a birthday party coming up and we're doing an outside theme with like mermaid and luau kind of combined. So, for the birthday girls, um, I thought we would put these around them. They're like super shiny and shimmery. Almost, um, almost like holographic. I hadn't seen these before in the Luau section at the Dollar Tree. So I got one in purple and one in blue. I actually, I got two purples and two blues. So one each for each birthday girl. Um, so yeah, look how pretty they are. Even if you took these apart and um, made your own flowers, that would be awesome for your pages because these are super shiny and shimmery. And you could put those uh, beads in them from Target. Those flatback pearls that are super shiny. Those would be really pretty. And you get quite a bit here if you wanted to do something like that. Um, I don't normally buy these. But I thought these would be fun and quick and easy and cheap. And look how pretty they are, right? So those are, and they're 42 inches in case you want to know how many inches they are. And there's a barcode in case you want to call your Dollar Tree and see if they have them. There wasn't many left. There was a lot of Luau flowers, but there wasn't a lot left in this color. That shiny kind, they also came in lime green, um, yeah, lime green and yellow. But I just wanted the blue and the purple. So then I got all these other goodies here. So let's get into this. So I picked up a few... Um, things that were not quite craft related. I got these facial wipes, which I thought, why not give them a try? I've used the other ones before when I was in a pinch and couldn't get to like Target or something. And they work fine. They just don't really get like waterproof makeup off. Um, but I haven't tried these and these look new. There's 30 in here and they're honeysuckle and green tea, which I thought, oh, that sounds amazing. So... That's what they look inside. They have the little tab that'll um, peel off and reclose. So you don't have to rely just on this. So yeah, and they're super soft. At least they feel soft to me. So yeah, so there's those. And the packaging was just like super cute. Look at the packaging, guys. So I picked up that to try. And then they have um, new colors in on their hair accessories so they had this and it had um, other matching things like little bows that match this um, I got these these have two hair clips I don't know if you can see that oh, there's my little guy in the background um, silver then it's got this nice cream and gold cream and then this uh, bronzy and blush pink color so I needed some new hair ties and I thought these were pretty. So I picked up those. There's 14 in here. And then I picked up this makeup bag. I really like it. It's mint and it's velvety. And if you want to call your Dollar Tree, here's the number for that one. Um, what I liked about this is the inside is plastic. So I can put my... Um, markers or if I have my embossing folder um, not embossing folders my embossing powders and I want to take them on the go with me um, I like to have something that's plastic lined so that when little bits get out it's easy to just wipe it out and I'm not trying to get it out of some kind of weird material so that's what I got this for I will be using it in my craft room um, so and I just loved the color and then I picked up this cute little seashell. It's lip gloss, and I got it for my daughter. So it's not glittery on the back, but it's glittery on the front. They had this in purple, white, pink, and blue at my Dollar Tree. And I just thought this one was super pretty with all the glitter on it. So definitely liked that. Um, here's the barcode number on that one. So I picked up that for her, and then my crafty things, I picked up this, I always pick these up every time I go, um, this is a 7 day pill reminder, they usually have them by the cash register, 
and um, I like to put little beads and things in and I like that it stacks uh, like this instead of having several small jars which I do have and I do love um, but these work great especially if you're doing any kind of swap um, and you're putting a bunch of little things in it if you have like a box or something then I usually throw these in um, but they twist off and there's like just enough to put a few cute little beads in or something or buttons or pearls um, when you take off the second layer though your top jar is the lid so you have to kind of like if you fill all of them or or get rid of just some of them because they don't close unless you stack them all together this is the only one with the lid is the very top the clear one um, I haven't found these in clear I've only found them in these summer colors um, year-round though they have them and um, so yep so I always pick up those usually and then I got these beads look how pretty they are and they're so tiny so I'm gonna put them in my shaker cards and or shaker tags or whatnot but these are kind of like I don't know if you can tell iridescent like um, and these uh, over here are as well they um, reflect the light really nicely and these are more like a pearlish shine same with these even though these are slightly different color and these are a matte color they're not uh, shiny but yeah so you get two iridescent ones these are kind of iridescent in the light pink um, you get a pearlized texture here and here and then you get these matte colored tube looking ones so yep so I picked up that for a buck so I, I thought that was awesome and then I got these napkins how cute is this so they have the matching tablecloths and cups and um, like little serving trays and everything to match these but I just picked up a pack of these there are 16 in one pack um, I picked up them to do some um, kind of like decoupage on my cards or even this would be cute like if you tore it and it was on the corner of one side of your page of your um, like a beach layout or something um, but I used the saran wrap to do it instead of um, the decoupage glue uh, yeah so I picked up those so I thought those would be fun and then I got these flowers they say confetti so that tells me that they're not sticky backed um, there's 60 in here, but I just thought they were super pretty. Look at all that shine and shimmer. So they got dark purple, dark blue, and yellow in here. I thought that would be fun to add to any card. If you had little flowers and put it on top, put this as your middle, and then a plain white one or something in the back, that would really spice it up to make a, like a three-layered card. Three-layered flower, not card. <laughs> Slow down there. <laughs> So I grabbed these because they're only a buck for 60 of them, though the glitter is going everywhere. So if you are not a glitter fan, don't pick these up. <laughs> but those were uh, newer in the Luau section. I hadn't seen those before. And then I also picked up these. There's four ice cream bowls and four ice cream spoons. And they're this bright, summery orange. Um, I don't know if we'll use them for ice cream or not. My girls like to have fun um sorry about all the crinkling fun little cute things to eat their desserts out of over the summer so maybe but what I bought them for was these spoons so these are great for um that container of pearls that I bought the flatback pearls from Target I mean not Target Michaels this is nice to get those beads out because sometimes I just I just can't get them out. If my nails are a little bit longer, sometimes I have a hard time. Then also, um, uh, those chunky glitter from Target. Uh, those containers are a little hard to um, get out the amount you want. Because if you shake it, it goes like everywhere. So, let's see if I can get a spoon out. I'm untaped. Maybe not. Maybe. Let's just untape it real quick. And I can show you what I'm talking about. And they had this in blue. I think they had a pink one. And they had this orange one. So see how simple that is then? And you get four of them. So 
versus the little wooden spoons that you can buy at um, like Hobby Lobby or something because I did have those and I really liked it and it was super cute but for a buck this is like the perfect amount to like just throw in your shaker card so that works out great for me and you could pick up all the colors if you have multiple jars but I think that four spoons is more than adequate for me to lose in my craft room <laughs> you could even put these on your desk if you wanted to change up the theme of your containers um, and throw like little paper clips or whatever in the back. I have a clear container from uh, Dollar Tree that I showed you guys last time that I used though. So I'll probably let my girls use these for ice cream. Also the backing to this, I usually keep this. This is pretty sturdy since I get these a lot. It's like the perfect size for like mixed media tags if you just like cut off the top or make it even smaller. I also use my punches that can go through cardboard and I uh, paint them with gesso. So this backing, cause this peels off super easy. So this is easy to save. I don't save all of my packaging, but I do save this just as a like side note. And then I got this clear container. This is in the tool section it's called tool bench hardware storage case. And it just clips open. I like clear containers to put little things in. Um, I have a million little things I feel like. So <laughs> so this works great. Plus if you're doing a swap and all of your stuff is smaller and you're not able to fill those bigger um, containers from the Dollar Tree if you're just starting out or something or if it's a smaller swap, this would be perfect. And you can decorate. And I like that it's flat on top makes it much easier than the other containers. The other deeper containers, um, they have like an arch to them. And um, I, it's, I find it hard to decorate for me personally. So this is nice and flat and um, still has some amount of dimension to it to keep your stuff in. And then I also picked up one of these jars. They match my smaller jars and I needed something to put all those shells in I just bought from Michaels on clearance. And I like that it sits like this. It has that dented in area. Or you can put it like this. So I think this is great size and a great lid. Um, I like that the top of the lid is smooth. And I can decorate it how I want. Um, I don't know the size of this. It didn't have a dimension on it. But I picked up one of those. I like that it's see-through. And then I found these. So these were in the picture frame aisle. It's the same style as this, but this is plastic. So I found these buttons. And um, like I said, they were in the aisle with the picture frames. They weren't actually in the craft aisle. Um, my Dollar Tree in my area was rearranging everything in their store. So I guess this is how it's going to be now. And um, let me empty this real quick so I can show you the buttons. So yeah, so they're not like super pretty buttons, but I kind of like that they're darker um, because my flowers are usually so elaborate. Sometimes having just like a little black button in the middle is just like perfect, you know? And they have some shine to them. There's a few in here that are like red and green. Look at this one. It's all striped. So there is some fun colors in here. You just have to look. This is nice blue. If you had some blue flowers. And they do have some funky look looking ones like this one looks wood grain and so forth. So yes, I like those. And they're only a buck for all these buttons. And if I don't use them all, my toddler likes to take things in and out and in and out. So I could always um, just let him play with them while I was watching him, of course. But he doesn't tend to put anything in his mouth. He's not that kind of baby. All right. Man, I am making all kinds of noise today on here. <laughs> and then when I was checking out at the register, you know how at the end of the register they usually have some advertised items? They had these colored ones. 
how cute are these? So I was like, oh, yes. So I already had um, the dark blue and black and gray mixture, and I was like, I'm still going to get those. But look at these fun summer ones. And look at this. You can put your ribbons through here. There's a couple in here like that. Ooh, look at this one. It's got, like, glitter and a diamond in it. So, yes, another glittery one. So there's all kinds of fun buttons in here. So I definitely like this one. This one's like a square shape. Look, I still have all that glitter on me from that com the confetti stuff. Some large buttons. A hot pink button. And this one has like luau flowers all over it. I don't know if you can see that. Super cute. So yeah. So this has uh, definitely has more like variety besides just the color on it. Um, this has more of a variety of a few different types of buttons. So, oh look at this one. Another one to put your ribbon through. So yeah, so I like these. And that one's cute too. So I got those, all of those buttons for a dollar. So if you don't get the neutral black ones, I would definitely get the colored ones. And then I haven't tried these yet. Um, I know somebody else here on YouTube did and she showed them. I cannot remember her name, but, um, this is the decorative tape runner and it, this is the one with the hearts. So it looks like this and I think they aren't like super bright when you put them down. I think they're more muted. I don't know another word for that. But I got this one with the stars and the like the zazz. So I thought that was cute. That's what it really looks like. I feel like these are a little deceiving, you know. <laughs> so I picked up these two designs in the decorative tape. I thought those could go with anything. Stars and hearts go with just about anything. And then I found these. I think this is newer to Dollar Tree. Four sheets of stickers um, book with puffy stickers. So I got this. This one was Finding Dory. They had another one. I I don't remember what it was. I want to say maybe Barbie. I can't remember. But I picked up this one for my little guy. Because he goes through stickers like nothing. <laughs> so here is this one. Let's see if I can get... Nope. That's not a good back. Not a good back. Here we go. So these are the puffy stickers with Dory and all her friends. So yeah, the octopus, he looks so moody, doesn't he? <laughs> and some extra stars. So I could even, if he was playing with these, I could grab a couple of these puffy stars and these little puffy fish off here and put them on a couple of my layouts. I would just add some, these don't seem to stick forever, so I would just add a little bit of extra glue to these. Um, sometimes the plastic ones from the Dollar Tree, the backing, the sticker backing is also plastic. So I don't think you should use your hot glue gun because you might warp the middle of your sticker. Um, I had that happen once probably because just weird things happened to me. <laughs> but I would definitely use some like extra wet glue adhesive or something. And then here is the sticker book. Here they are the same ones, but they're flat. And here they are again. And here they are again. So, just look, it looks like pretty much the same thing, except for that when you take them off, they'll be lined in different colors, um, depending on the background. But like I said, this is just for my little guy to play with, so it doesn't bother me that they are mostly the same. So, I think they're the same exact thing, just in different areas. But I like that. Four sheets of stickers for a dollar and one of them are puffy and fun. I'm game. Totally game. And then I picked up this. Um, I usually pick up these and keep the, make sure I keep some of this in my stash. This is the glitter paper. You only get three sheets, but I still think it's economical. 
um, because they're all adhesive backed. All the back of it is sticky. And I like to cut this down and put it through my die cut machine. Um, the glitter is usually super smooth. And like I said, it's already have, oh, here it says right here, adhesive on the back. So it just makes it super simple. I don't have to try and glue these little itty bitty intricate um, punch outs or uh, die cuts. So I always usually grab this. They have other colors. I picked up this one. It has like this lime green and uh, ocean blue and this purple. I thought it went great with my summer water theme. And yeah. So there's three in here, so I grabbed one of those. They have, um, let's see here, I actually have some up here left from my last time. So they have the red and green, and, and it comes with blue inside it, but I've already used up all the blue. Oh, here we go. See, I picked up quite a few of these guys. <laughs> this one has the blue in it. Um, and even if they look like this at the top, because sometimes some of them do look different at the top than these, they're all still adhesive backed. You just have to like really look. So all of them that I've picked up so far have had adhesive backing on them. And my Dollar Tree also has the holographic sheets. And there is 20 in here. So they're like, whoa, dude. <laughs> and then they have the foil sheets. And uh, these are super thin. Makes it really easy to die cut off of these as well. So um, thinner than, you know, your hard stuff. I can go through the colors really quick. Probably you guys want to see that. Um, so we've got gold. And there's three of that. Then we got silver. And we got this um, fuchsia color. Goes perfect with these flowers, actually. And then on the very back, we have this dark blue. So it works, looks great with these confetti flowers, especially if you uh, had a large flower punch and you made that the background and layered it with that. That would be pretty. And then here's the holographic sheets. I will show you these. These also have 20 in them. So I feel like that is just like amazing. 20 sheets of like a design paper for a dollar is awesome. I understand they're super thin, but I actually like them that way because they work well in my die cutting machine. So, and they're all white on the back. These are not adhesive. When you see that there's 20 in the pack, they are not adhesive. And then you get this pretty blue. And you get this silver. And then on this front side is pink. And gold. So look at all that. So that is super, super shiny. And I don't think I have any of the other colors. I did pick up the poster board though. So there's five sheets of poster board for a dollar. And you get this blue, green, red, silver, and gold in a metallic color. These are 11 and a half by 14. So these are big. So this is this is big. This is compared to um, the other sizes here. We'll do the glitter one. So, it's quite a bit bigger. If you can see that. And, um, these are, let me see the size on here. No size. I think these are just uh, regular 8.5 by 11. They look like our standard 8.5 by 11 um, size. So, I like that. And then I picked up. Um, these two gift bags, these looked new. I hadn't seen this pattern before at Dollar Tree. And they have like these paint swashes with like glitter. These are glittery. And then like some mixed media on it. That's kind of what I think of when I think of it. I got this one. And then I got this one. And the entire back to this one is just like a 
super shiny glitter. Plus I thought it was going to go great with our luau theme and be fun and bright on the table next to the decorations. And that's my haul, guys. That's what I've got. I hope you guys have fun shopping. Bye!